son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Holy shit! We're golden! What about Duck? What about him? Look, Kitty, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Did you not hear, Cat? We don't know shit, Lee. Let's fucking enjoy this. Let's get this thing moved and get back on the road. Watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? worried about no that little girl is a puzzle yeah she is poor dog God, where did yesterday go I don't know you were standing right there are you doing okay things I've seen yet. I'm sorry you and, oh my god, Clementine had to see that. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from? Yes. Even further away now. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. Body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here.
Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja for Doc. One hell of a mess. It's all yours. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? Doug would have known, but we'll figure it out. That's the spirit. Hey, Ken. What's up? I can't get us free. Any ideas? You're asking me? What do I know about a train? More than me. Sorry, man. I'll get back to it. Me too. Have you heard or seen anything out here? No sign of whatever lives in the train. Keep it down. I don't want you scaring the kids. Gotta be a better way to do this.
Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. I better get back to it. Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. There's got to be a better way to do this. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. The man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Sorry, your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, 
With a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I better get back to it. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Rain's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kinda. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Looks sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? Get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. 
could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm gonna go get Kitty. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. Stop the train. Katja needs you, Kenny. Duck will be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. A scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? wrong with you but you need to lock it up be a man here oh you want a piece of me is that it i just want to talk ken relax and talk you couldn't save herschel's son then and you can't save duck now shut your mouth so you're running like a coward doesn't need you! You don't even have a child! You don't know what this is like! You fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you mean? I. I. Gotcha. It's time to. Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if. What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, 
you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Kenny, you're his dad. You do it. And I'm his mother. He's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world joke. He's still a baby boy. It would be different if he were older. Let me do this. Then I'm coming with you. No, honey. Stay with me. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. Buck is dying. I know. What is Katya doing? She's making sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. She's making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Claire. Things are... Oh, God! This will never happen to you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Why, cat? Honey? Oh, fucking God. <laughs> you said you could do it, cat. God damn it. You said you could do it. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it.
Anton? Uh-uh. You, uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. No, she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? I figure it out. Well, get to figuring, because it'll be on top of us before you know it. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. See ya. Yeah.
Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. Crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger. Steadily, okay? Don't give it a quick yank or pull. Steady. I can do that. Every time. It'll be tough, but just remember to do that. You'll hit what you're aiming at. Okay. I'm ready. Your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim lower. Bit to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Yeah, you did. Good job. I squeezed the trigger, just like you said. I know. You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. lived here a while. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. 
It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope. No idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. You'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. It's a fifth of whiskey. Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Just leave me alone. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. I found this if you want it. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kid. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. 
You get that hair sorted? Yeah, don't think she cares for it. She will. Hey. Yo. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Do you mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. It's full of maps and documents. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend, but he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. I think I heard them die. They're not dead. Do you want them to be? Don't be ridiculous. I don't want you to get hurt any more than you have. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! Fuck, fuck, 
Fuck! 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 Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. Thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. <laughs>